now let's talk about the velocity of piston okay so velocity of the uh, or i would say displacement of the piston is x so we can see that the displacement is a function of theta this would mean that the velocity of piston which is dx by dt would be dx by d theta into d theta by dt okay so what is d theta by dt it is omega and you get dx by d theta so now our main focus is to find out dx by d theta nothing else because omega is already known to us so we'll take this function and start differentiating it with respect to theta so r will be as it is 1 becomes 0 minus cos theta becomes plus sin theta this is sin theta this would be plus 1 by 2 into n square minus sin square theta to power minus 0 0.5 okay and this will be 2 sin theta cos theta now this will become r into sin theta plus this is what this is sin 2 theta this is sin 2 theta upon this would be 2 into under root n square minus sin square theta this is what you will get all right so let's let's keep it over here only or if you want to go further i would say that sin theta is already very small value so square of sin, sin theta would be a very negligible value so this can be approximated as r into sin theta plus sin 2 theta upon 2n this is what you get all right so we had your vp as omega into dx by d theta which will become omega into r into sin theta plus sin 2 theta upon 2n so this is the velocity of the piston so we have derived the displacement of the piston and we have also derived a formula for the velocity of the piston in the next video we will derive a formula for acceleration of the piston